So she was like, okay, we're gonna get to the section that everybody hates, <laughs> diet and exercise. Welcome back to another motherfucking video. I'm looking dusty and crusty today. If you are new, you already know what to do. So let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And before we get into it, my dogs are out. So you might hear them playing. You might hear the toys squeaking. And also we live in a black household. So you also might hear the fire alarm beeping. So let's just be aware, okay? You're entering a black household. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I just gotta get some shit off my chest because like I said in the stripper video, this is like a video diary. For, this is like a video diary for me and the current situation, I'm going through two situations. So you guys are gonna get two like chats, okay? Because I guess that's just what we be doing. We just be chatting, all right? We just be chatting. But the first one today that bothered me the most recent, let's talk fat phobia. Okay, so it's, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, because maybe up here, I look like a normal sized person, but when you get down here, when you get down here, it's close. <laughs> a bitch is fat, okay? I'm thick, okay? Never been skinny a day in my life. And it just is what it is. Let me put on some lip gloss, y'all, and get a little spiced up for you guys. Okay, is that better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a little sweaty because I just came in from taking the dogs out and souls. We gotta talk, we got a lot to talk about, but I'm gonna do the other segment in another video. Maybe I'll be a little more spiced up because souls, it's just a lot that's just on my mind that I'm about to, I'm about to release on y'all, okay, okay. Also, I'm gonna be putting up my groceries while talking to you guys because I'm trying to knock out two in one, do the dishes and shit, and I'm just gonna talk to y'all, like, so just bear with me. So, fat phobia, yes. I have been big all my life, okay? The ones who's been like sticking with me the day one, the people, my, my subscribers who watch like a few of my videos and I've talked about like the struggle of weight. And that's not all I wanna talk about on my channel, but it's something that I deal with realistically. So I'm gonna mention it, okay? I'm gonna mention it. So for my thick girlies, you can relate, okay? Even if you're not thick, you're not plus size, but you still deal with like like weight changes in your body. Yeah, it, this is for everybody. This is for all my females, okay? This for, is this for all the girlies, okay? And all the plus size thick people out there, okay? I have been trying to lose weight numerous times, okay? I always have to mention that I lost 50 pounds back in COVID when we had time, when I had time to exercise every single day because there was nothing else to do. And I had time to focus on my nutrition. It was like a gift and a curse to some people because some people was able to get their content started during COVID. Like some people was really able to navigate certain things and learn stuff about them. And one of the things was me and my mom, we both lost weight together during COVID. But I ended up getting into a relationship and I gained all that shit back. Okay, plus I was on birth control, the IUD, but we're gonna get into that too, so we're gonna get into, we're gonna talk about that, okay? Cause I made a video about the IUD, but it didn't touch bases about weight that much, but we're gonna get into the, the IUD cause I don't know what you think it's loose, okay? So I, I've lost the weight before and that was the smallest. I was almost 199. I was 200. That was the lowest I have been in years. Like probably since I was in elementary school. Dead ass. Like that's how I've been overweight all my life. Like, like I feel like Medea. You know how Medea's like, I've been a big girl all my life since kindergarten. In kindergarten, I was 6'7", six, 6'2", six, or whatever the fuck, 200 and something pounds. Like, that's how I fucking feel. I'm not, I'm not six feet or nothing. Like, I'm a little five six. <laughs> a little five six average. But that's why it's so easy for me to finally accept my body. But the doctors make you feel some type of way okay so that's that's this is this is my first point okay so the job that i have currently which is chuck driving i'm not gonna stay in this shit forever <laughs> but like currently my, my job is chuck driving yes i drive the big 18 wheelers yes i'm one of them big motherfuckers on the road yes but i'm required to kind of like stay up on my health when i first got like a a checkup at the regular clinic it wasn't even a primary doctor they said that like my neck was too big and of course you know the little bmi scale they want to put fat people on a scale to see how fat you are. So I already like checked two things off of whatever fucking list they had on there. So it all started with that, okay? First, they measured my neck at like 15.5 inches, like the circumference of it. 
I went home the next day, I measured my neck, my neck was 14. You know, I told my mans about it. He's like, well, you know, he started measuring it too. And he's like, well, I don't know if it, it's looking like it's 15. I'm like, no, my neck is not, look at my neck. My neck, I don't, I'm not one of them, them big people that is like, you know, like it's, it's, it's congested around here. I'm not, I'm not like that. When I was at the clinic, I'm pretty sure I was slouching because I never even knew that they even measured your neck. Like I didn't know what they was doing that for. You know what I mean? I thought it was just like a checkup. Like, Okay, uh, figure my body out like that's what I thought it was I didn't know it was mandatory for like the trucks and then I would have to proceed to see if I have sleep apnea and I've never had a problem with sleep okay I've never had a problem with sleep I've never had a problem with sleep let's say it again I never had a problem with sleep I never had a problem with sleep okay I'm a very how can I say this how can I say this I am a very fit plus size person it could be better like like I said I always say this it could be better because I have to figure out how to manage my time and to get even more exercise in because so when I tell you I if you go in my fucking fridge, if you go in my cabinets, so you ain't gonna find nothing to eat, okay? A lot of friends who come over to my house, they be like, bro, y'all ain't got no snacks. Y'all ain't got no Doritos. No, we don't drink sodas. We don't, we don't do that. Well, Titus be getting his little shit from the gas station, but me, I have been like weight conscious since a very early age, too early in my opinion. I was weight conscious, probably like around the age 13 when I tried to do basketball. And then since then I just cut out the sodas cause I knew soda is like, it makes you feel sluggish. So I have never been a soda drinker um, since I was 13, since I started recognizing like, okay, we shouldn't be eating certain things like that. You know what I mean? Cause growing up, you know, my mom had to do what she had to do. You know, them food stamps, you gonna get what you can out of them food stamps and the cheapest foods is like sugary shit. That is what, that's what I was growing up off of. You know, like honey buns. My mom used to buy like this, uh, these little pies and shit. And they were only like, what, 50 cents, 35 cents at the time. Like they were cheap as fuck. And we used to eat chicken patties all the fucking time. And my portions as a kid was not, it shouldn't have been the portions that a fucking 10 year old would eat. You know what I mean? Like I would eat like two to three burgers as a kid. But as an adult, I eat as a regular fucking human. I eat as if I'm like a regular sized person who's almost 100 pounds less than me. You know what I mean? So I'm not, as an adult, I'm not eating two or three burgers. I get one burger, I get my serving, and that's it. Do I go back for seconds on certain things? Hell yeah, I fucking do. But so are skinny ass people too, okay? So you see where I'm coming from? Okay. So I go to the clinic and then they refer me to get a, a sleep apnea test done because of my neck circumference and my BMI. You know, I'm already against the odds. So I'm supposed to be putting up this food, but so I'm too much into it. So I go to, I have to get, I had, I had to go to a primary care doctor first because they had to refer me to a sleep medicine. Care first, actually, let's talk. So I gotta catch y'all up. First, I went to the gynecologist. Okay, that didn't have nothing to do with the job and all that. I went to the gynecologist because I told you guys my IUD expired. Well, so I got that shit taken out. Okay, I was dead ass. Okay, so I got that shit taken out. But and the doctors they was like, oh, do you want babies? Da da da. Like I'm like, no, I. I don't, I don't want babies, but I also don't want no other birth control because I'm not trying to have no hormones. And I told them, I said, I don't need nothing that's gonna make me gain any more weight. Okay, when I said that, I'm saying like, I already know that I gained about 50 goddamn pounds. Okay, okay, I never blamed it on the IUD. I never did, okay, but I wouldn't be surprised because the people who's making it in the lab, they don't have this damn IUD in them. They just going based off of little scientific studies and shit, but you don't really have it in you. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how it's really reacting to the body because you're doing this shit on like fucking hamsters and shit. Like, no. I told my doctor, I was like, yeah, like I don't want any birth control that's gonna make me gain weight or that has the added hormones. Like I just don't. And then my doctor proceeds to say it wasn't the IUD that made you gain weight. I'm like, so I never blamed it on the IUD. Like I feel like doctors think that we be trying to blame other shit for our problems. Look, look, I cheat off my little diet. I be goddamn depriving myself from food and I wanna and I got me some donuts. Yes, yes, I, you know, it happens, okay? Or I went ahead and got me some fucking Jamaican food, which you can see in my shorts. Because look, a bitch be tired of eating like a fucking rabbit all the time and you don't see no results, okay? You don't see no results. I never like blamed it on the IUD, but okay, like I don't want no, no birth control because I'm not trying to deal with that. You know, they try to say the thing in your arm, I don't want that shit. I don't want to feel that.
that shit right here i'm good i don't want no other iud i'm not gonna go through that pain unless y'all give me anesthesia so i'm not doing it okay so that was number one she had to bring up my weight every time you go to the doctor they be like are you working on that yeah actually how is your weight are you working on that i'm like yeah i am currently working on that yeah <laughs> You know, and they, they never believe you. They never fucking believe you. But at the time when I went, I really was like when after I did the detox and shit, like I lost about five pounds and I gained two, that shit back. I gained two pounds back because I, I, I went down on some donuts because I was depressed. And we got to work on that. So we're we working on it. OK, we go on to the next one. My primary care doctor. OK, and she was so nice. Like the physician, she was very nice. She didn't make me feel like I was being interrogated about my health. You know how they ask you like all them questions for new patients and shit. So she was like, okay, we're gonna get to the section that everybody hates, <laughs> diet and exercise. And I'm looking at her like, I don't hate that shit. Like just because I'm big, doesn't mean that that's gonna be intimidating for me because it's not. I'm very aware, I'm very familiar with diet and exercise like very familiar so she's like yeah like you know how's your weight da, da, da. are you working on that at the time i was working i was doing good i was like yes i'm currently doing it now i walk i run bitches don't believe i can fucking run okay they don't believe that shit because i'm big you never seen a big bitch run don't do that <laughs> So like I'm like yes like I work out I try to take my dogs on a walk every morning like I'm trying to be active I'm a, I'm a pretty active big person it could be better okay you know we're, we're at the doctor's office I get my blood work everything comes back normal okay and I'm not gonna lie like as a big person when you're getting your blood work done you're concerned about diabetes number one high cholesterol and high blood pressure my main like top priority is diabetes because it runs in my family i don't be eating ham to the point where i feel like i'm gonna get diabetes you know what i mean like i balance my shit out pretty well so i get my blood work back everything's normal everything's good i'm like okay cool i'm still healthy and obviously like my diet my health reflects in my blood work it may not show on my body but it shows in my blood work that i'm a pretty healthy person i go to the sleep medicine which was just yesterday and that shit tore me up and, and i'm gonna tell you why so i go to the sleep medicine to see if i have sleep apnea it's like these doctors first of all my doctor was a nice petite indian looking lady pretty as fuck and she's like you know they looking at she looking at me like okay this big bitch sitting in front of me okay first of all the room was set up like an interrogation room it was not like a regular doctor's office where they had that table with the paper on it no it was like a square table about three or four chairs on each side and the doctor sits across from me with her laptop and then all of a sudden i look up and i see this camera i see this camera like up here just facing me and i'm like whoa <laughs> this looks like an interrogation room y'all about to interrogate me about my health okay and that's exactly what it felt like so she started she proceeded to ask me the new patient questions um i also did this little questionnaire on the little tablet thing that they have so she's asking me stuff like how is your sleep you know like do you get sleep Sleeping in the day, da da da, and basically, I'm not. I don't know word for word what I said, but basically, this is what I told her. I said, you know, like I'm here for the trucks. They sent me because of my neck circumference and the BMI, da da da. Like she asked me questions about do I get sleepy on the road, da da da. I'm like, yes, I get sleepy at the end of my shift after driving almost four or five hours straight like if i'm driving two hours here two two and then i'm going to different stores and shit that shit adds up by the time i'm driving back home and i have like another three hours back yes i'm gonna get fucking sleepy like it's nighttime. what else she said oh she mentioned my weight she was like yeah like are we working on that like all the doctors always be acting. like that's the first thing she was like okay, i looked at your blood work it looks like you're pretty healthy then she goes down to my weight oh so your weight um, um, yeah you are such and such um are we working on that and i'm like yes i am working on it because at this point i'm just like bruh y'all get on my fucking nerves okay you literally see my blood work i don't have high blood pressure i don't have none of that and i know that they're saying this you know to lose weight to prevent this shit but it's like you know i just went to the doctor my blood work is healthy they ask you questions and then they feel like they feel like you're lying about it because i told her i said because she was asking me questions like do you drink caffeine do you do you drink sodas da 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 i said no i don't drink that shit anybody who knows me like if you work with me 
I carry a big jug of water with me to work. Damn. Okay. I drink this. This is all I fucking drink all day. I don't drink no juice. I don't drink no lemonade. I don't drink no sodas. And I try to stay away from coffee. If I'm drinking coffee, it's because I feel like I really need it and I'm tired. I try to stay away from these things. You never see me with that type of shit. You never see me with candy bars. You never see me with chips. I might have downed them donuts about almost a week ago. Yes. And I own that shit and it was good, yes. But I don't do that shit all the time. So yeah, like they look at you like, okay, yeah, yeah, right. You know, you be down in them damn donuts. You know, you be going to fucking McDonald's every night. You know, like that's how they look at you. And like when they're like jotting down their, their answers, I feel like they're jotting down something else because I literally like, no, I don't do this. I don't eat this. I don't eat that. I know it's hard to believe sauce, but trust the fucking blood work sauce okay like they be judging me and i feel like when doctors look at me the first thing they see is a happy meal the first thing they see is chips candy soda sugar a bitch who eats trash that's what i feel like they view me as at the end of the questionnaire they didn't even do shit first of all they didn't put no machine to me they didn't see if i had sleep apnea right then and there they have to send me a machine home and shit and i have to do it at home test you know she fills my throat and shit she looks at my tonsils she's like yeah it looks a little crowded and then when she was leaving out she proceeds to say well it looks like you have signs of sleep apnea and i'm looking like bitch how like how like i don't fall asleep i told you i get a good night's rest because i've never had a problem with sleeping ever like when i sleep i sleep good i sleep good and i'm usually energized for the day she was like yeah you do show signs of sleep apnea because your airways are kind of like constricted and also you said that you get sleepy throughout the day <sighs> i never said that shit to my doctor okay she she wrote that shit down somewhere i never said i get sleepy throughout the day i said that i get sleepy towards the end of my shift and oh and then they also asked something about like how many times a week do you take naps? And I said one to two times a week. I'm entitled to take a fucking nap, okay? I work at a fucking nine to five job that treats people like slaves. I'm entitled to a fucking nap, okay? I might be on my period that week. Like, why are you factoring all these things in? But you wanna know why? I feel like they did that because I'm overweight and the way I look, okay? And I'm black, shit. They always be trying to diagnose us with some shit and I'm sick of it. Like, okay, my blood work didn't show nothing that they could diagnose me with. So you had to diagnose me with sleep apnea. The only reason I'm going to sleep medicine is, be is for my job because you have a CDL it requires for you to get tested for it. Like, so I've never, I never would have ever went ever 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 i am not trying to sleep with them little seat pack machines okay i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i know it was a lot i know i just needed to unload that and i feel so much better <laughs> i feel so much better and so i'm just i feel like for the past two weeks i have been fat shamed by my doctors and yesterday that shit really like pissed me off a little bit it pissed me off and it made me sad because i try for one i'm 24 at 24 a lot of people aren't even thinking about their health they are literally eating whatever the fuck they want i wish i could do that shit like i wish i was in the body that just metabolized everything and just burned fat and i could just eat what the fuck i want like i wish that i could do that i'm not in that body because if i eat like that so i'm gonna feel it i'm going to feel that shit i'm gonna feel it in in my weight and my mood and that's why i eat a certain way like i even go as far as doing the little blood type diet that i made a video about almost a year ago if you watched it go watch it so, um i don't even know if i'll remember to link it but it's like this this book about blood types and stuff that you're supposed to eat and what you're not supposed to eat and basically i'm supposed to stay away from wheat and so i don't eat bread and you know what she said she said that means no breads no pastas no rice so i don't eat that you know I, I was like really really like sad yesterday i was like crying because like bro at this point i'm just not gonna have to eat anything like i'm gonna have to like just drink water and even that like i feel like when i drink hella water water puts on weight too so i don't know but then i was talking to my mom and she said i should probably get my thyroid checked because i feel like the way that i eat the way that i eat and i don't even like even my portions are pretty good and i'm keeping on this weight you know what i mean like the reason why i was able to lose five pounds is because i didn't eat nothing and i was drinking that fucking arden garden shit as soon as i started eating you gain a pound like 
it's like I'm keeping on this fucking weight and I don't know why. What I don't get is that they say that losing weight is 20% exercise and 80% diet. You know, why am I gaining? And it just makes me, it just makes me like frustrated. The doctors really look at big people and they just think that you're not trying. They just, they don't believe you. They just think that you just some fat person who came in their office and you have weight problems. That's the first thing that they do. And they hope, they hope and pray that you have diabetes high blood pressure or high cholesterol. They like, they fucking prey on that shit. They can't wait to diagnose you and to prescribe you some fucking medicine so that you never get better. And I've been trying to get better, sis. I've been fucking trying and I'm tired. I'm like tired as fuck. Like it's to the point where I'm looking at fucking weight loss surgery. <laughs> like dead ass, like dead, dead ass. And I don't even know, like my insurance cover that shit. I might get it, I might get it, I ain't gonna hold you. Cause I tried the fucking natural way. I try. Maybe I gotta try harder because I know that I need to I need to work out more. But even when I'm working out more, like at the beginning of this year, I was going to the gym, so was, I was lifting, I was doing so good. And then it's like I'm still not losing shit. I'm still not losing nothing. So it makes me sad. It makes me like really furious. It's like, bro, like what am I doing all this shit for? I get fat shamed. I get fat. I just feel like I get fat shamed in public too. You know, and on social media, like people just fat shame you. Have people in the comments with a little pig emoji and shit. Like that ain't new. Find something new, so Where's the results? Okay, I don't want to just sound like I'm just talking. Like I'm just those people that's like, oh yeah, I'm eating healthy and you're not. It's like dead ass, I really fucking try. Like my lunches, my lunches is like fucking rabbit food, y'all. I eat fucking salad and tuna fish every fucking day. This video has actually kind of made me a little sad and just really kind of like expressing it out, like getting it all out kind of like, I don't know, kind of put me in a reality check that this is just my life. This is just like, this is like one of my biggest struggles. One of my biggest struggles is my weight. And I've been dealing with this shit since a kid, like all my life. You know, I just, I'm like, I'm feeling hit right now. I really am. I'm a real person with real problems. I don't understand. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.